Apple began selling a microfiber cloth separately for $19 not too long ago, which caused a ton of controversy and a lot of free advertising for Apple, since polishing cloths used to typically be bundled in with your expensive tech purchase, or you can always find some on sites like eBay for as low as $4 for a 5-pack. So what makes Apple's polishing cloth so special? Well, apart from looking like a total Apple snob, there is not much special going on here, I promise. So, it is a bit thicker. Um, it's white. Let's see, uh, oh, can't forget the obligatory debossed Apple logo here at the corner. Can't forget that. It features a non-woven type of microfiber that makes it not as flimsy as cheaper alternatives. But the thing is, lower cost cloths will clean your display just the same. I have a ton of polishing cloths from all of my sunglass purchases, so what gives? So if we look at what Apple touts this as, it has an elegant design with rounded corners. The thicker material I mentioned, the iconic white color Apple has been accustomed to across most of their accessories, think AirPods and their chargers and adapters, reinforced edges, and the embossed Apple logo. But don't let them fool you, folks. It's just Apple's ingenious marketing tactic at play. Now, I know what you're saying. Spending $20 on a cloth is just as ridiculous as spending $1,000 for a monitor stand. Yeah, trust me. I felt that. But this cloth is symbolic of something much deeper going on at Apple HQ. And that's the sneaky tactic by Apple of removing once bundled accessories and selling them separately. I know a lot of you Gen Zers may not remember, but there was once upon a time when Apple graciously bundled in a ton of accessories in the box. Back when iPods were all the rage, they came included with free earbuds of course, these cloth like covers for the earbuds as well. Doc, even earlier iPhones like the original iPhone 2G also came bundled in with a polishing cloth and a lot of other goodies. Nowadays, you get absolutely nothing. The unboxing experience with Apple is so bare bones now, it's ridiculous. Even MacBooks from five or six years ago came included with extension cables and polishing cloth, but have since been removed all in the name of capitalism and forcing you, the consumer, to fork up even more money for basic accessories that used to be included. Oh wait, no, I'm lying. Apple graciously includes the polishing cloth for free with your Pro XDR purchase. But you have to drop $5,000 to be hooked up with the cloth. And then don't forget, there's another $1,000 just cause fee to complete the package with the stand plus monitor setup. Like Apple, what is this? But the polishing cloth isn't the only accessory that used to be included for free. Remember the wired ear pods that used to come with every iPhone purchase? Yeah, those have been removed and now cost, you guessed it, $19. Oh, and then there's the 20 watt power brick, which again is sold separate and what a surprise, it's also $19. This strategy of maximizing profit is typical with big corporations like Apple, but what isn't are those profit margins. Like seriously, I can bet you my entire stock portfolio, the cost to produce this polishing cloth costs Apple less than $2 and they sell it to you at potentially 10x the cost to manufacture it, if not more. This doesn't even scratch the surface of Apple being extremely goofy with these outrageous prices. Then again, Apple has the audacity to sell wheels for the Mac Pro, yes you heard me right, wheels that cost more than your car tires, probably, for $700 for a 4-pack. Insane! This may sound ludicrous to some, but Apple's accessories sell extraordinarily well. I mean, when this cloth first came out, it was sold out within 48 hours with shipping delays up to one or two months out. Like, this is precisely why Android lovers call us Apple sheep, because we blindly give Apple our money. And so with this kind of behavior, what kind of incentive does Apple have to bundle these things in for free when consumers will gladly fork over their credit cards? And lastly, what I find hilarious is that if we go to Apple's product page for the cloth, it has a list of compatible devices, but it stops with the older devices. For example, if you still have an iPhone that's older than the iPhone 6, then tough luck, the cloth isn't compatible. Like Tim Apple, what? Why? The iPhone 5 still has a glass display, my boy. What do you mean I can't clean my screen with it? So in the end, is it worth it? Hell no. Don't be fooled. There's little intrinsic value here. It's a dang cloth that you can buy for $3 just about anywhere else without the Apple logo, and it'll perform the job just as fine. I did get hooked up with one when I got my Pro XDR display, but since have lost it and I was suckered into spending $20 for a new one. I mean, it's cool and all, I guess. It cleans my iPhone display, my Apple Watch display, my iPad display just fine. But dang it, Apple, this is getting out of hand. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think of Apple's $20 polishing cloth. Are they out of their minds or are you a proud owner of an official Apple polishing cloth yourself? 
If so, drop down your experience down below for the rest of us to join in on the conversation. And I cannot wait to catch you all in the next one.